Hello, I'm going to show you how to manipulate NURBS curves. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw EP2. 2, EP2. I can never get that right. Anyway, let's go ahead and, um, no, sorry, CV, CV2. Click on that and uh, draw our bad boy right here. Start from here and finish there. So we've got this um, CV2, that, CV curve 2 that we've drawn here. So if we click, if we go to uh, vertices, you can, you've, if you've noticed, there's a box, a U, and all these dots, okay? This enables us to know if we've got a curve like this, it enables us to know that our our curve actually starts from here. This is the origin. This is the source of the curve. Okay, and this is the direction. So source is a box. Is represented by a box, and direction is represented by a U. So this is our source, and this is direction. So we're starting from here and going all the way around, all the way around to our starting point. That's all this is. That's what this represents. So and again, if we go on the line here, we've got a lot of options. If we go on the line and you see that we've got all these options okay we've got all these options so let's go ahead and uh, work with the curve point what a curve point really is it's a point on a, on a, on a curve okay it allows you a, uh, a curve point is a point on a CV where we do another where we can do um, another operation that's pretty much what this is okay so we can have uh, this this little uh, point here, there, there, or we can actually just drag the point, you know? So that's all this is, to do another operation along the curve. So, um, we also have a, um, what we call the holes too, okay? We also have what we call the holes too, which is this one, okay? So if we click on this one, um, what a hole is, uh, what a hole is, um, this is a thing that actually almost works as an edge loop. I didn't say it works like an edge loop, but I said it works almost like an edge loop for a curve. Okay? The, the, that's all a hole is. Well, it's not very important in um, editing, uh, editing uh, curves like this one, curve services like this one, because... Um, it's not very important because uh, uh, it's more it's more important in editing uh, NURBS surfaces. Okay, it's not very important in curves to in curve twos. All right, it's not very important unless we're working with NURBS surfaces. But I just want to point it out. I just want you guys to know that it's there to work. If if we need it, it's there. But we don't really use it that often. Um. Yeah, that's um, all this is, and if we, that's pretty much all we need to know about um, these points that, w that we've got on here. And another thing, um, another thing is the end point. See, end point. This enables us to actually work our CV curves as it were, uh, as if it were EP curve. Okay. What I mean by that is enables us to sort of, not really, but sort of convert our CV curve into EP curve mode alright so we'll be able to um, actually manipulate and move these objects as if they were EP curves see that we can actually move point by point which uh, would actually make our, our um, work a little bit easier when going when uh, actually modeling around surfaces or actually trying to straighten up a point make a point as um, curvy or less curvy as we intended, you know. So yeah, that's what um, that's what uh, the end point is about. You know, that's what it's about. So yeah, yep. We've um, covered everything from here. Practice, know your tools. Don't make the mistake of just um, going through the videos, guys. Please just um, go through them, practice, then move on to another one. Practice and subscribe and practice some more and subscribe some more and practice and comment and practice and read the videos and practice some more. 
you know <laughs> anyway another thing another tool that, that you actually want to learn about while we're in here the last tool that you want to definitely want to learn about is uh, the curve editing tool okay so if we click on here where are you bad boy there he is if we click on there we've got this bad boy here so it's got one two three four manipulation points okay and it enables us to actually manipulate our object easily so we can actually see that we can actually um, manipulate like that remember whatever we can do in here we can do in our perspective view as well so we can actually manipulate there or here we can do it from anywhere anywhere within our orthographic view anyway I like I like when working with nerve um, with CV tools and tools like that CEP tools whatever I like to be in um, the front view so and again we've got this point okay this enables us to, to move smoothly along a path and when we get to that point and actually move it up move smoothly again without uh, without actually moving anything and when we get to a point that we want to move that's when we can move see that so when we can move so this is this is to actually move um, a point in a smooth direction this is actually to move along a path okay this is actually to move some sort of like to squeeze it up to make a tighter edge you know if you want to make a tighter corner tighter edge you use this one okay pretty much uh, puts that point and that point closer so that it makes a sharper edge okay makes a sharper edge okay and that one just t uh, twist it so this is um this is probably a tool that you would use to make racing tracks you know racing tracks and uh, yeah you get the idea you get the idea guys it's a tool that you would use to create uh, construct uh, racing tracks and um, see makes a tighter edge all that stuff so learn it use it and uh, advance to the next tutorial and if you're not subscribed please um, re remember to subscribe and I uh, hope you like the, uh, the tutorial rate it if you don't like it just tell me okay you need to improve on that you need to improve on this and I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to be a better teacher but for now yeah talk to you and uh, advance to the next tutorial thanks